Mayor Civilian Gustafson, who we talked about, Tania Davis and Hannah Stewart for Iowa as the Hawkeyes control the tip. For the Lady Toppers, it's Givens, Creech, Brewer, El Jadewi, and Abdelgawad. <laughs> and directly into Gustafson, uh, who good ball faking up and in, two to nothing to start. And they open up in 2 3 zone. Uh, no surprise uh, for the University of Iowa. Whitney Creech for the Lady Toppers. In the backcourt with it, El Jadawad, rather uh, Abdelgawad. A couple of Egyptian players out there for WKU. Creech with a shot clock now down to four. Givens will fire it up from three, in and out. And the rebound comes away to Gustafson. Two to nothing in favor of Iowa. Opening minute of play here from the A. Diddle Arena. Three-pointer by the guard out front. Comes off the front of the rim, and Whitney Creech has it for the Lady Toppers coming the other way. That was Tania Davis with a missed three-pointer. Creech, I mean, Givens thought about the three again. They look inside, there's El Jadewi, and that's what she does very well. She can drive to the basket, and she'll try to take advantage of maybe being a little bit quicker than the Iowa defender. Gustafson uh, got her a little bit there with the body, and, and again, uh, putting it on the floor and taking it with a hook shot. Nice move by El Jadewi, and, and uh, she gets a, a basket and the free throw for a three to two lead. El Jadewi, a perfect five out of five for the season, and the toppers take a small one-point advantage at 8.52 to go here in the first quarter of play. Shut a little 2-2-1 zone press back into 2-3 zone for them. 8.43 to go. Lady toppers leading it 3-2, and that didn't last too long as Alexis Civilian, the redshirt sophomore out of Goodrich, Michigan, Gets the three-pointer. El Jadewi with a little left-handed hook. Couldn't quite get it. The ball loose on the floor and picked up by Iowa coming the other way. Five to three in favor of the Hawkeyes there right underneath. Nice pass, and the benefactor was Hannah Stewart. Well, Stewart is a, a, an outstanding offensive rebounder, a 6-3 post also, and, and opened the season with uh, a big effort against Oral Roberts, and she runs the floor exceptionally well for a big. Thinking about the three, maybe not seriously, Alexis Brewer, the redshirt junior guard, and hit the three, but uh, it won't count. Had a three-second call that time. Lady so, Toppers trailing right now in the early going, seven to three. Faking the three was Pavilion. And then knocking down the two. Uh, Mackenzie Meyer, uh, Miss, former Miss Basketball in the state of Iowa uh, two years ago and uh, a returning starter for them. Uh, outstanding shooter. Iowa spreading it around a little bit. And there's the three-pointer by Alexis Brewer. She's just made one that didn't yeah, count. Made one that didn't count. And this one does count. Came right back and hit the three. Excellent three-point shooter is Brewer. The transfer. Going to get El Jadewi there for a little push. Brewer played, played at West Virginia her first couple of years. Sat out last year and is active in there this year as El Jadewi picks up her first foul and the first team foul against WKU. That's a big one because it is El Jadewi. 10 to 6, another three pointer by Civilian. She's got five. Yeah, they're outstanding shooters and, and giving them too much time, too much room. Seven-point advantage right now for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Brewer working it around. Creech on the left side. Brewer, another three, and another basket. Alexis Brewer has come out hot. So a four-point advantage now for Iowa, 13 to nine, with six and a half minutes to go in this first period of play. Deep in the corner, they're putting a little more pressure now on the perimeter players, and that's going to possibly open up something inside for the Hawkeyes. Inside they go, and there's a big girl to the big girl, and Gustafson, the benefactor of the pass by Stewart. Great interior passing by Iowa. Uh, Lisa Bluter's teams always are good passing teams. Six-point advantage now for the Hawkeyes. 
Creech at the top of the point, working it. Givens will fire it up from three. Off the rim, not there. Rebound pulled down by Stewart for Iowa. 15 to nine, a six point advantage for the Hawkeyes. Can't Inside, chase the ball. Yep, and there again is Gustafson. And she's already got six points in the early going. Well, Big that, 10 player of the year. That was a, a basket uh, by their point guard. Outstanding job of pushing the basketball and El Day we chased the basketball that time. El Day we had her hands on it, slapped out by Gustafson. Topper has maintained possession of it. Shot clock now down inside of 10 with 5.16 to go. Underneath and kind of forcing it up there was Abdugawad and didn't come up with anything for it. There's a three-pointer taken again by Iowa. This time a miss by Civilian, but the long rebound comes away and Davis has it for Iowa. And then the foul will go against D. Givens, her first. Timeout on the court with the Lady Toppers trailing the Hawkeyes of Iowa 17 to nine. We'll take a break and be back here in Diddle Arena. Coach. Well, you do, and, and here you see, t there's a trap right off the bat. Uh, Tonight, Davis right there with the basketball. Uh, four, all, four assists already. Uh, you don't want that foul from Brewer, uh, 40 feet from the basket, but Davis uh, really doing a great job. She had 12 games last year, all starts, and then uh, tore her knee up, uh, ACL, and uh, she was out for the rest of the season. Uh, this Iowa team still won 27 basketball games. Yeah, she's had back-to-back -back years of tearing the same knee up and wearing the heavy brace in there right now. She's got left corner. Iowa leading it 17 to nine with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter of play. Iowa shooting 78%. That'll stop in a little bit. El Jade, we may have gotten a little piece of that yeah, ball. Yeah, she blocked that back. Yep, Alexis Brewer picks it up. Into the game for the first time for WKU. Sherry Porter brings a little bit more quickness into the game, and there's the foul against Stewart. Yeah, That'll be the second team foul on Iowa. Great hustle by Stewart, just uh, didn't break down on the closeout. Porter in there for Whitney Creech, and Porter does bring some quickness into this lady topper lineup. Well, you gotta have somebody that can get into the paint. They've gotta penetrate more. Too much passing around the interior. Uh, for WKU. They've got somebody's got to, to put the ball on the floor. Creech gets it into El Jadewi. There you go. There's Brewer and underneath and boy just covered up there when you've got uh, Stewart at 6-2 and Gustafson at 6-3. Going to be hard to get the ball up. Uh, we're going to have yeah, here's the, our first opportunity to take a look tonight at Arami Niang. 6'3", sophomore, redshirt sophomore out of Senegal. Yeah, Weston's uh, tallest player, really, uh, even though 6'4", uh, uh, Renee was listed at 6'4". Another turnover. Off the hands of El Jadewi. Couldn't quite come up with the pass from Brewer. So the turnover will give it back over to Iowa, leading at 17-9 with 3.43 to go first quarter. Uh, Boy, wide open. Stewart will make this look pretty easy. Another assist by Davis. Uh, Davis is just sees the whole floor. Outstanding point guard. Stewart now with four, 19 to nine, and Topper's down by 10. They've had some quarters in which they've struggled. There's the There's little a three shot taken by Sherry Porter. Porter off the bench with her first two. 19 to 11, an eight point advantage for Iowa. The shot up, nice missed. rebound. El Jadewi with the rebound. Lead to Porter, starts to pull up. Ooh. And instead, WKU turns the ball back over. Nice job by Sanders, who just came into the game on that steal. Soft 5'8 sophomore guard out of Evans Hill. There they go inside, and that'll be the offensive push off there. It'll be whistled against Stewart, and that'll be her second foul. Yeah, they're gonna get her out with two, and uh, the problem is that in comes... Uh, yeah, 6-1. <laughs> in comes number 10. Uh, and oh, out. no, 10, I'm, you're, you're right, you're right. Uh, no, G Gustafson in there. The, yeah, 43 comes 43. in. 43, Olinger. Yeah, Olinger. 6-1 forward out of uh, 
Cedar Rapids. And she's a very, very active uh, forward on that basketball team. Proven player off the bench. Lady Thank Toppers you. have struggled trying to get inside. And there there's Niang with the put back, and she'll get a chance to make it a three-point play. Good offensive rebound, and they haven't had one. That was the first one of the game for WKU. Fourth foul, fourth team foul of the game, and Aram Niang goes to the free throw line, misses that. That was her first attempt of her WKU career. Toppers within six, though, 13 to 19. They picked up a little bit of pressure on defense now. Driving in and Got a block. ball slapped away. Iowa comes up with it. Meyer, they'll fire it up from three, and they got it. Saunders. That was Sanders with the two, yeah. Sion Sanders. Iowa still shooting the ball very well. Nine of 14. Porter over to El Jadewi. Into the game also for the Lady Toppers. Number three, Sidney Bopp, the three-point specialist. D. Gibbons way out up top. Shot clock down to 10. Minute 43 to go first quarter. Porter inside. El Jadewi has it blocked by Gustafson. Gustafson. And uh, pretty impressive. She's no doubt why she's the Big Ten player of the year. And boy, they waste no time as Civilian gets the two. Civilian's got seven points. Now those two guards are, are veterans. A three-pointer right three back. Pointer. Porter with a three. So she's off the bench, come in and give the toppers a little bit of a lift with five points. 24-16, Iowa. An eight-point advantage. Nice job by Nyang. Nyang gets the ball, gets it over to Sidney Bopp. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Pretty fast-paced quarter. And Nyang will fire it up a three. It's an air ball. And nice job of saving it by El Jadewi, but... Iowa was the player that came up with it. Not sure that's the Niang took the kind of shot that uh, Coach Collins wants. And there's the putback by Gustafson. She is tough. Offensive rebound. She goes after every ball she thinks it's her. And back to a 10 point advantage. So Toppers had closed it down to six with a couple minutes to go. And all of a sudden, Iowa very quickly gets it right back up. Porter. Over to D. Givens. Givens looking for her first points. Givens will drive in up off the glass. El Jadewi, nice offensive rebound, but couldn't put it back in. Nice. Iowa quickly coming the other way, going down, and the travel will be called with 3.9 seconds. The Lady Toppers will have the ball. And into the game for the Lady Toppers, Jalisa Allen, the senior forward. Out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Got to be aware of the clock with only 3.9 seconds left in the first quarter. And the tops have to be aware. Iowa is aware. Comes in quickly to Porter. Porter works around the screen of Niang. Drives right down and the foul on the play. We'll see if it was offered to coach about uh, a foul. And we thought it was going to be a defensive foul, but that's we, not how it went. No, and we didn't see the call. That was the thing that I was concerned about. Okay. Well, it was called an offensive foul against Porter. That was her and, first. Uh, her first foul, so the Lady Topper is back with the ball, trailing by 10. Porter still in there for WKU. In the corner goes to Givens, back over to Porter. Porter will work it around. Toppers have been trying to get the ball inside to El We just have not been able to do that. Porter penetrates, gets the shot away. But with that big Iowa lineup in there, Gustafson picks up the rebound. 10-point advantage for Iowa. Lady Toppers looking for their first victory out of three games of the new season. Iowa 1-0 coming into today after defeating Oral Roberts. And deep from the corner, Mackenzie Meyer knocks down the three. Uh, Meyer's an outstanding shooter. She was Miss Basketball, as I mentioned before, from the state of Iowa. And she's uh, if you give her room, she can, she can knock down that uh, three-pointer. 13-point advantage. Dee Givens looking for her first points, not there. Pulling down the rebound for the Lady Toppers. Jalisa Allen didn't get it. Another shot up. And Lady Toppers hit the boards, but uh, a little bit tough going inside. Well, Allen should have got to make that shot. 
Another three-pointer and another make by Mackenzie Meyer. Back-to-back -back threes. Different corner, same result. And they double up the toppers 32-16. And as I said, uh, that kid is an outstanding shooter if she has room. This is a very good Iowa team, as we said. Ranked 13th in the Associated Press, 17th in the USA poll. So they come in here uh, expected to compete for the Big Ten title. Porter inside, there, she found Brewer. Brewer put it up pretty quick. Porter with the rebound gets it in there. Porter having a nice, uh, actually it was Dee Gibbons, her first bucket. Yeah. So Gibbons with her first two, Lady Toppers down by 14, 32-18. Eight minutes to go, second quarter of play. Driving in and just Davis making it look easier. Tanaya Davis, the senior guard out of Flint, Michigan, only at 5'3", <laughs> but uh, a lot of quickness. Well, she just knows how to play. Uh, she's lost some of the quickness with those knee yeah. injuries, but honestly, just really knows how to play. 34-18, a miss by the Lady Toppers, who are shooting a very cool 32% right now. Iowa hitting 70%. 14 out of 20. 34 18. Iowa back with a basketball. Tops go man, and, and so they have got to, to double in the post. There's a high low situation. Yep. Inside they go. Gustafson, a little hook shot, and she'll have an opportunity for three. Awful tough to stop once she gets the ball, and she's in double digit scoring with 10. Yeah, she scored almost every time she's touched it, and, and uh, again, that high low, the pass was. Excellent. Uh, number 43 uh, made made the pass. Ollinger made it right on. Ollinger made it made a perfect pass. The foul goes against Jaleesa Allen, her first and team's first of the quarter. 37 to 18, Iowa. Gustafson now with 11 to lead all scorers. Porter. Toppers are working around. A lot of threes being taken by the toppers, but only three for seven so far. El Jadewi finally puts the ball on the court, and usually that's trouble underneath, but she got away with it and got her two. 37 to 20. Iowa by 17 over this Lady Topper squad. And there's the foul that will go against number 30. WKU. That'll be Abdugawa. She'll go out of the game and in for WKU comes Alexis Brewer back into the Lady Topper lineup. Getting a rest. Olinger along with Mackenzie Meyer for Iowa. 6.41 to go. Sanano came into the ball game. Another big body. Sanano, a 6-3 freshman. Out of Watertown, Minnesota. A lot of size and bulk on this Iowa team. Shot clock now down to 10. Looking inside and they get it. Boy, just almost impossible to stop. Tremendous hands there. Gustafson with her 13th point. 39-20 in favor of the Hawkeyes. Toppers just struggled getting the ball in the basket. Shot taken from the right quarter by Allen. Comes up off, and Iowa will quickly come down court. Knocking down the three once again is Civilian. That Civilian's an outstanding player, too. The guard, I'm really impressed with the guard combination for Iowa. they very unselfish. They know what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, and they know what they're looking for. Coach Bluter has done an outstanding job with this team uh, and their experience. Uh, Seven of 11 from three point range right now. Al today with a little underhand scoop shot. Gets her seventh point. 22-42, a 20 point advantage for the Hawkeyes. 5-18 now to go in the second quarter. Al Jadewi, yeah. She went for the steal and uh, Gustafson tried to prevent her from getting the ball and she'll pick up her second foul. And back into the game for WKU comes Sydney Bopp. Gustafson will get a little bit of a rest as Olander comes in. And WKU gets the ball. 
Down by 20 with 5.14 to go in the second quarter. Porter over to Sydney Bopp. Bopp can shoot it from three. She gets hot, which is what the Lady Toppers probably would like her to be able to do. The given starts to drive in, and the little reach-in foul or push foul will be called against Iowa for the Lady Topper ball underneath basket. So we got a timeout in the action with 4.54 to go in the second quarter. It's been all Iowa so far. They're up 20, 42-22. We'll It's been all Iowa, 42-22 with 4.54 to go here in the second quarter. Time for our Franklin Bank and Trust student athlete spotlight. Junior Mary Joyner from Franklin, Kentucky. Joyner's recorded six career victories, less than three seasons on the hill. No lady topper on record has more than two titles. The student athlete spotlight brought to you by Franklin Bank and Trust, hometown banking at its best. Topper's back with the basketball, and it's been all Iowa. Iowa shooting the lights out right now, hitting 74% to uh, just under 35%, and that doesn't help things when you turn the ball over, and that'll be turnover number five for the Lady Toppers. 15 assists already by this Iowa squad. 17 made buckets, 15 assisted. Uh, unbelievable, and uh, they play this uh, length of time with four turnovers. Five. Oh, I'm sorry. Davis had a bad. And they continue to be hot from the field as well. 44-22 after the bucket by Davis. Whistle inside. You know, they've only gone to the free throw line one time. Uh, yeah. And WKU only still foul-wise, uh, we've got to be more physical. We've only we, we've only made six fouls in the first half. Ball by Sinano. There's El Jadewi, a little left-hand shot. Rebounds her own shot and puts it back up and in. El Jadewi with nine points now. 44-24. 20-point advantage for Iowa. 4.04 to go in this second quarter of play. As we said, it's pretty much been Iowa this first half. They're almost uh, turnover, but Iowa will retain possession on the held ball. Uh, that's uh, Sanders, the, the young Sanders, the freshman, uh, tried to go with it before she caught it that time. On the goblet, back into the Lady Topper lineup, replacing Bob. Iowa has outscored the Lady Toppers 10 points each quarter so far. Back into the game for Iowa, Alexis Civilian. And going out is Zion Sanders. Another shot shooter. One sophomore for another sophomore. This Tania Davis has been very impressive, though. As most of Iowa players have been. They just are not missing right now. Mackenzie Meyer. That's off the dribble, too. Knocks down the two. 46-24, the largest lead, obviously. 22 points by Iowa. Three and a half minutes to go, second quarter of play. Iowa, as we said, picked to be among the leaders in the Big Ten. Coach Lisa Bluter in her 19th season, the winningest coach at the University of Iowa. 369 wins going for 370 here tonight. 725 overall wins throughout her career. Uh, she's one of the few that 35 seasons and, and 700 wins. Porter trying to force it to get up there, turns it over instead. Iowa running the other way. Guess who's at the other end of it and puts it in for two is Tania Davis. They are just so quick and get down the court. It's going to make you pay for any mistake that you make. 48-24. They've doubled the Lady Toppers up again. Bop goes in, tries to kind of force it up. Great. Gibbons picks up the loose ball, gets it over to Porter. Great box out that time by so that Susanna. Bop, well, rather, from three, Alexis Brewer. Brewer with three field goals, all of them from three-point range. She can fire it up from three. Iowa will try to answer off the front of the rim. Not there. It'll go out of bounds and belong to the Lady Toppers. 
21 point advantage, Al Jadewi will get a little bit of a rest as Niang comes in for the Lady Toppers. Making her second appearance. Had a field goal and uh, nope, I guess Al Jadewi is going to stay in. It's going to be D. Givens that goes out. So Toppers back with the basketball, trailing by 21. 2.27 to go. Whitney Creech also back in there for the Lady Toppers. Creech looking for help. Niang out at the top of the key. Gets it into El Jadewi. El Jadewi at the bottom of the rim. Gets her own rebound a couple different times. Boy, she's battling for it. And finally on her third try, gets it in. And she'll be rewarded. Maybe she was just waiting for the foul so she can get to the uh, three-pointer. But uh, she was battling, no doubt. Well, Niang... It, Caught that ball high and made an excellent pass, high-low pass that time uh, to get the ball to El Jadewi. And so, again, Yang has, has impacted this basketball game. If you noticed her running, uh, she, she got tired after about four trips up and down the floor, and that's because she missed so much practice uh, in the preseason. She's got she's to get herself in basketball shape if she's going to help this basketball team. Al Jadewi gets her second three-point play of the night. Out of bounds. It'll still belong to Iowa with 23 on the shot clock. 2.04 to go in the quarter. 48 to 30. Iowa's had a lead as much as 24. They just haven't missed very many. Still shooting 74%. Have been hot from three-point range. Nice box out and rebound by Niang. Toppers getting out rebounded, but there just haven't been that very many rebounds for WKU. Nice pass inside it goes to Al Jadewi. Back to back buckets for the Lady Toppers. Yeah, you got, you got two Lady Toppers who starters who haven't scored and one other who only has two points. And, and uh, you've got to get better offensive production from your team, if, uh, especially with uh, Gustafson on the bench. That was a travel there. And, just didn't get the call. Off the glass, driving with it was Civilian. Out of bounds, it'll belong to the Lady Toppers. And uh, yeah, we did have a foul on the play against Iowa. So that'll be their fifth team foul. So Lady Toppers will go to the other line to shoot the ball. And at the line for WKU will be Whitney Creech looking for her first points. That foul will be on Olinger, her first, and as we said, team's fifth. Creech doesn't miss very many. Now she's but changed there. Yeah, she's changed her free throw uh, from last year, and now is getting it further behind her head. And, uh, I don't think she's shooting the ball as well as she did a year ago. Makes the second one for her first point of the night, and Lady Toppers is. Pulled within 15 at 48-33. Close as they've been in a while. 1-10 to go. Second quarter of play. Iowa. Then all Iowa. 69% shooting. WKU now hitting at uh, 50%. Or 36%. 50% from three-point range. Inside. Great. Nice little hesitation by Olinger. And then to put it up and in. Yeah, great pass that time. Great pass inside. Uh, 50 to 33, back to a 17 point advantage. Inside, Al Jadewi dishes it out. Shot up by Brewer. She's been hot from three point range. That's her fourth three pointer. All field goals coming from three point range. And Topper's back within 14. They could get it down close to, well, they won't be able to get it to 10, but they could keep it where it is right now with 20 seconds to go. After being down by as many as 24, they've cut into that lead a bit. 13 seconds on the shot clock, going in, dishing it off, and the three-pointer in and out, but an offensive rebound by Iowa. They'll fire it up from three with four seconds, not there. The rebound comes away to Niang. Toppers won't get a shot away, and Brewer, guess what? Or no, that was Abdogawa who put it in, but after the zeros were up on the clock. Well, they made a run there. Yep. Jeff and cut it to 14, and that was as close as they've been since the first quarter. Uh, they were down by as many as 24 at one time. 50 to 36. 
at the end. They're, they're an outstanding team and very well coached. 50 to 36, our halftime score. We'll be back with more of the third quarter here from Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's Iowa leading the homestanding Lady Toppers. By about 20 seconds before we get started with our third quarter of play. Jeff Young with Paul Sanford here with you from EA Diddle Arena, Bowling Green, Kentucky. First year coach, head coach, Greg Collins, who spent six or seven years as an assistant uh, under Michelle Clark Hurd for the Lady Toppers. Still looking for a win number one, and uh, I'm sure he was thrilled when he took the job, and then he probably looked at the schedule and said, what have I gotten myself into? Well, I think he was he had some role in, uh, in, uh, in maybe in making creating the schedule. that schedule. Yeah, 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 some of those. And, and, and all coaches like to have a tough schedule, yeah. especially uh, coming from Conference USA. You want to, to play that tough schedule uh, to try to get an at-large bid if you don't win the conference tournament. So uh, he brought a tough one in here tonight. I was still in the zone. They change up a little bit. They're in 3-2 now, 1-2-2. Yep. Two, two. WKU trailing by 14 with the ball. They'd like to get something going here in the first couple of minutes of this third quarter. And Iowa would like to stop that. There's a three-pointer taken and hit by D. Gibbon. Just yeah. her second field goal of the night. Yeah, she was very silent in the first half. Oh, there it is. Good Iowa. job. Good Quickly box. Quickly down for it, but misses it. And D. Gibbons will fire it up from three again. Comes up short that time. Good hustle that time. And a great save by Abdugawad, but it goes out of bounds, it'll belong to who? It'll still belong to WKU. Yeah, good job that time, good hustle. Good uh, hustle, yeah. yeah. Nice job by the by the toppers. Whitney Creech to throw it in for WKU, and it comes to D. Givens, back over to Whitney Creech. Third quarter just underway. Iowa leading it by 11, 50 to 39. At a 14 point advantage at the half. D. Givens for WKU will fire up her second three of the half. Third three, actually. Missed this one. She's one for three now in this second half. Topper is trying to get back into it, but Iowa has something to say about that. The Hawkeyes have led the entire game as many as 24. There's the whistle. This foul will go against Givens. That'll be her second foul, team's first foul of this third quarter. And Iowa will take the ball in gotta, front of their own basket. Got to take that right hand away from uh, the penetration to make her go left, to make her go to the weak hand. Good hands there. Tipped away by Givens, picked up in the backcourt by Davis. Civilian back with the ball over to Davis. Inside uh, and... Creech just couldn't get a hand on it and picking her up where they left off. Hannah Stewart gets the easy two inside. Well, Coach Bluter and her staff have done a tremendous job of drilling those post kids on how to, to pin and seal, and they do it as well as any team I've seen come into the Diddle Arena. Creech out up top. That was Brewer. El we back to Brewer over to Creech. Creech faked the two, now pulls up, comes up short. And tracked down by Iowa's Gustafson. Trying to pass it into the other big girl, Hannah Stewart, and out of bounds, but it came off of the Lady Toppers' foot. Into the game, Porter, who gave the Toppers a little bit of a lift in the first half. Abdugawad, Porter brings obviously some quickness and speed into the game for WKU. 52-39. Thought the officials might have missed a kick on that Iowa, last. Yeah. That's a travel. I think everybody saw it except the officials, and El Jadewi knocks that one out of bounds on the drive by Meyer. He can get a signal that time on, uh, on the deflection. 10 seconds on the shot clock, 7.42 to go third quarter. Iowa gets it in, a little left hand, and there's the foul as Gustafson, the 6'3", Big Ten Player of the Year, will go to the free throw line. That's three on uh, Givens. Givens, who has the only field goal this second half for the Lady Toppers. 13-point lead uh, for Iowa. Gustafson is almost automatic at the free throw line. Yeah, 81% this year. Uh, rather, 81% last year as a free throw shooter. After watching her play, I can see why she's Big Ten Player of the preseason Player of the Year. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't, uh, hasn't let us down at all. 
No, she and and she looks like uh, she's she's better in person than she is on stats. <laughs> 15-point advantage, so Iowa's increased that 14-point advantage to the half by a point in the first three minutes here of this third quarter. Porter lost it, stolen away by Civilian, and then El Jadewi steals it back away, and Civilian commits the foul. Yeah, that's Herford. a nice job that time by Creech to, to stay with it. Timeout. Called on the court, 7.21 to go. 54-39, it's Iowa leading WKU by 15 points here in the third quarter. This interconference game, and we'll take a break and be back after this. Play Kentucky Lottery Scratch-Offs. Back here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, you're looking at the WKU bench. 54-39, it's been Pretty much all Iowa. Lady Toppers were down to the Hawkeyes by 14 at the half, down by 15 now. They hit the three-pointer to cut it down to 11, but Iowa has been able to answer pretty much every time. Yeah, they show two, three out of bounds, and, and uh, again, this is a big possession. And it goes, and trying to force it up there with Brewer. Didn't get it, got her own rebound. El Jadewi will turn around, put it up, not there, and the rebound pulled down by Stewart for Iowa. So WKU comes up empty. They'll work it around Davis out at the top of the key. Working against the Lady Toppers. Yang back in there for WKU. Shot clock down inside of five. And boy, that's 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 how you work it. A great, Stewart. Yeah, and a great pass. The pass, is made, the pass made the play after the seal. Stewart now with eight points. Great job. Niang just off the Porter. He gets the two. 41-56. The lead remains at 15 for Iowa. 6-19 to go. Third quarter of play. Davis. Working it around left side. Iowa has cooled off a little bit. Boy, they, they came out hot. They were shooting 70% opening up this game. Boy, the drive right by. Nobody stops Meyer for her two. Let her go right again. 41-58 and back up to a 17-point advantage for Iowa. Yang, she'll fire that three again and hit the backboard this time. It was an air ball the first time she shot up a three. Went and Jump ball and her uh, held ball. It'll go over to Iowa. Back into the game for Iowa comes Sinano, 6'3 freshman out of Watertown, Minnesota. Iowa's got one, two, three, four players that are at least 6'2. 58 41. Fake on the baseline, the three-pointer taken by Sanders. And she knocks down the three. She's got five. And Iowa inching it back up again to a 20-point lead at 61-41. Al Jadewi had it blocked by Mackenzie Meyer. Meyer coming the other way with it. That was a walk that time to Davis. Walk. Deep in the corner, the three-pointer doesn't go and a long rebound comes away. And Sanders ends up with the basketball, and WKU will end up with a foul. Yeah, that time, uh, El Jade, we took off running uh, for the offensive end without securing the basketball. You've got to get the basketball. Foul called against Porter, her second, team's third of the quarter. Iowa back with the basketball. Just one team foul on Iowa this quarter. Slapped out of bounds. It'll still belong to the Hawkeyes. D. Givens checks back into the WKU lineup. Porter will go out. We've got a timeout on the court with five minutes. Luxury Imports, the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLC, can be experienced at Luxury Imports at Bowling Green. For more information, contact them at mbusa.com. As a three-pointer taken again by Alexis Brewer. She's got all of the ladies. Well, no, D. Givens did get one three-pointer here in the second half. So what a, got most of them. And what a what? seal. That was right a great. Right down court. There's Stewart. 
Yeah, what a great seal by Stewart and a great bounce pass that time uh, by number uh, 21. Uh, I mean, Stewart got the, the basket and the, the pass Stewart. by Mackenzie yeah. Meyer. Yeah. WKU having trouble finding uh, the basket right now as Iowa has inched it back up to 25. And rebound loose on the floor, battling for it. Gustafson is tied up by WKU and a couple different players. El we in there. So the jump ball and possession arrow pointing WKU's way. So they will get the ball back as checking back into the game for Iowa is Alexis Civilian. She had two of those assists we highlighted just a moment ago. Givens and El we out of the game. And into the game for the first time, Terry Smith for WKU, the sophomore guard out of Harvest, Alabama. And also into the game, number 13, Jaleesa Allen. Toppers down by 25 to this Hawkeye team. Almost thrown out of bounds. Saved, and Topper just having a tough time handling the ball and give Iowa a lot of credit for that. Brewer can't get it to go down. Iowa. Meyer pulls it down. Boy, they get down court so quick. And this is an outstanding Iowa team. They just continue to pull away now. Zion Sanders with the three. And Sanders is an outstanding freshman. She, she's going to take some playing time from somebody. She gets after it. She can really shoot the basketball. Good size. Largest lead of the night by the Hawkeyes. 28 points, 69-41. Three-pointer from deep on the left side. Over the rim by Terry Smith. Iowa coming back with it. Sanders finds out up top. Meyer inside. They go inside out. And that uh, one of the few turnovers, an unforced turnover. That one by Hannah Stewart. Now, that time she, she was looking for a partner, and, and uh, Brewer did a nice job of covering that up. Olinger back into the game for Iowa. And in for WKU, number three, Sidney Bopp. Two and a half minutes to go, third quarter. It's all Iowa again, 69-41. Toppers were down by 14 at the half. There's Porter driving in, can't get it to go down, and a foul will be called on the floor. Jaleesa Allen for WKU had the rebound. It'll be... WKU basketball as the third team foul is called against the Hawkeyes. This one on Meyer. A little body foul that time, a little push. For Meyer, her second foul. WKU back with the basketball. Sidney Bopp over to Porter. Porter works it around to Smith. Back to Porter. Porter has it almost picked. Basically does have it picked away. The turnover will go against WKU as the arrow pointing Iowa's way. And that'll be the eighth turnover by WKU. Great scouting report there. Uh, took her right hand away, made her put it on the floor with her left. Meyer with the basketball for Iowa. They look inside to Olinger. He dished it off to... Meyer, who will go to the free throw line. Nice pass that time. That was a uh, something that Coach Bluter has done for years and years is a pass to the post and split the post. That's an old uh, move off the triangle offense, and uh, it's been very successful against Zone. Free throw is good. That'll be the second foul on WKU's Jaleesa Allen. I've been very impressed with Meyer. She's had a very complete basketball game tonight. Plays hard. Meyer now with 15 points. Less than two minutes to go. Third quarter of play. WKU, who, as we said, was within 14, has that shot blocked. That's Allen again. Jaleesa Allen. Uh, yeah. I think Gustafson. Got, got, got welcome. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the court tonight. There's Gustafson. What a player she is. Obviously, uh, preseason Big Ten Player of the Year. There it is again. And inside they go, and that's almost automatic when you get it into Gustafson. Gustafson on the night so far. 
a perfect seven out of seven, three of three from free throws, and has 17 points. There she is running the floor. How about eight for eight? Yeah. Fun to watch. She just Unless keeps you're the high. opponent, I guess. Yeah, she keeps the ball high. Look at the box out that time by Meyer. Iowa back with the basketball after the miss. Nine nice for offensive nine. rebound, and Gustafson just continues to impress. 43-77 as Iowa continues to pull away from the Lady Toppers. WKU working it around the horn. And there's the three-point shot. The first points of the night for Aptagawa. Seventy-seven forty-six. Ten seconds to go here in the third quarter. Iowa cruising along. Civilian inside. She remains perfect. Civilian made a great pass that time. Every, knew, knew the clock and knew exactly how much time was on it. What a great pass. 79-46, we've completed three quarters of play as Gustaf Gustafson gets the high five uh, from her coach. We'll take a break and be back right after this. Right here. Well, if the American Big Ten Player of the Year last year, 1,800 career points. What doesn't she do, I guess, is uh, well, the I haven't seen her find. shoot any threes That's tonight. A, there you go. All right. Iowa in the 2-3 zone have this game in pretty good shape, leading at 79-46 as we open this fourth quarter of play. Lady Toppers will go back to the drawing board and try to figure out uh, how to get better. Of course, when you're playing some outstanding teams as Pop fires it up from way outside. Had to try to get something up as the shot clock was winding down. Well, in that, that last quarter, uh, it was really 71%. Uh, I'm sorry, 70, yeah, 73%. Yeah, 73%. And the topper shot 22%. That's the reason for the 33-point deficit. Yeah, for the game right now, Iowa shooting 68%. There's Gustafson again. She'll go to the three-point, or go to the line to try to make it three. 20, 25. 25 points. Looking for point number 26. Well, Stewart missed that one. That was an easy yeah, one for yeah. Stewart, and she cleaned up the mess. Freshman in for the first time for WKU. Oh, oh, she missed a free throw. Her first miss of any type of shot. Of course, Stewart gets the rebound. So much for perfection. 81-46. She'll make up for it. There she goes. Yeah. With a right pass hand. by Stewart. <laughs> yeah. The lefty with the right hand. 83-46. Gustafson has certainly put on a show. She had 35 last year against the Lady Toppers as Iowa defeated WKU in overtime. As Ivy Brown had her hands full last year trying to defend Gustafson. Now, Brown had a great game as well. Yeah, I think she had 33. Yeah. And... Correction made, so foul on Iowa. Yeah. Into the game for the first time for WKU, Mariah Noodle Haywood, the freshman from Edwardsville, Indiana. And Iowa just not missing right now. 85-46. 8.13 to go in the basketball game. Creech starts to drive in and Civilian tried to reach, kind of bring her back. So the foul will go against Civilian. Four fresh players in for WKU, D. Gibbons, Alexis Brewer. Niang comes back in as well as Abagawa. And it comes to Alba the Couldn't quite hang on to it. And picking it up was Gustafson. She seems to be every place. Civilian drives baseline right. Cut off there. Nice job by Gibbons. 
7.56 to go. 85-46, a 39-point advantage for Iowa. Yeah, Stewart's strong in there, and, and she, you see Cook in there working too, but... Oh, that's a mid-range yeah, jumper. Yeah, jumper by that. Gustafson. Hadn't seen that shot yeah, yet. That's uh, one of the few times it hasn't been a layup. 87-46. Porter starts the draw. In and out, the three-pointer doesn't go down for Brewer. Ball loose on the court. It'll be a jump ball and go over to Iowa. Brewer's got most of the threes for WKU. Four out of six now. That was a good look, Joe, that time. Went all the way down and popped back out. Uh, Iowa back with the basketball. Uh, Lady Toppers will go back out on the road after this game. And what a pass. Doesn't get too much easier. Central Michigan, pretty good team. Oh, they're typically they, as well. Yeah, they, they were in the NCAA tournament last year and, and were getting votes in the top 25. So the Lady Toppers will have their hands full. Once again, Iowa, on the other hand, will be hosting North Carolina Central. Good job. Best in my Layup there by Niang. And coming the other way with it. 89 48. 41 point advantage underneath. Couldn't get a foul on. Uh, it, it'll go, I think they called it on Brewer. Ooh. Yeah, Brewer. Third foul by Brewer. Abdegawad out of the game for WKU and back in. Now this, El Jadewi. Yeah, 41 point lead and, and again, uh, this is the people they play. They don't, they're not going to substitute people that don't play. Left hand there with the post player. That's a big freshman. That was Zanano, her first bucket. WKU outscored in the third quarter, 29 to 10. That was on Meyer, I think. Yeah, her first. Uh, Correction, her, her third. Third, yep. yeah. So it'll be WKU basketball, and it comes in to El Jadewi. They're, they're trapping yep. in the corner. They Whistle's getting pretty busy right now. This one will go against Davis, and that will be the first foul on Davis. They've got to know that it's going to be trapped. You know, they've been to this this whole quarter. And it comes. Brewer works it around. El Jadewi, nice pass inside to Creech, but among the tall trees has it. And Alexis Brewer has it slapped away from behind from three-point range. One of the rare misses by Davis. Porter with the rebound for WKU. Number's really not there, but Porter takes it right by everybody wearing a black uniform and scores the two. Porter in double digits scoring. Has 11 points. Oh, Meyer. And how does Iowa answer with a three-pointer? Running the floor. And Meyer goes to that corner out of the, the break, and it's a, it's a secondary break situation. She knows where she's got to be. 11 for 24 from three-point range, shooting 46%. The Hawkeyes have been lighting it up. D. Gibbons answers with a three. Oh. Nice job that time by Porter, uh, knocking that out of bounds. Foul though, called. Oh, I thought they knocked the color reflection. That time. Yep, yep. Foul called against Porter, and that'll be her third. No, it wasn't a foul, was it? Yep. Ooh. Called Porter for her third. And the ball on the ground. It'll go over to WKU. Back into the game for Iowa, Denia Davis. Also back in, number 43, Amanda Olinger. Will replace Hannah Stewart. 
And also going out for Iowa, Alexis Civilian. 94 to 53. It's been all Iowa this second half. Toppers were within 14 of the Hawkeyes at the half. And actually hit the first bucket as Dee Gibbons knocks down her third three. For D. Gibbons, 56-94. Into the game for the first time, Tommy Taiwo. 5'9", freshman guard out of Carmel, Indiana. Deep in the left corner, another three by McKenzie Meyer. Great stroke, and, and I've been really impressed with her tonight. Uh, she's gonna win a lot of games for uh, Iowa. People gotta guard her. Back up to a 41-point advantage, 97-56. There's a whistle. It'll go against Iowa, and we've got a timeout on the court. 4.24 to go in this basketball game. Iowa has things in uh, pretty good hands, leading it 97-56, returning for this Iowa team. Eight returning players altogether, so they're a very veteran team. And Lady Toppers have a lot of new faces out there. See, they know exactly where the open person is. Yep. <laughs> and they find the open person, Olinger, this time for her, too. See, the tops go to a trap that time, and all of a sudden they know exactly where they're good looking. High post, and, and they get somebody there. 99 to 57 with 3.46 to go in this basketball game. Iowa will be home for their next outing on the 17th this weekend. Lady Toppers go back out on the road to Central Michigan. Great job by number 25 that time, uh, going straight up. Iowa looking for point number 100 right yeah. now. Taiwo, working around to Davis from three point range. It'll be off the rim and yep, up over the back and that'll go against Olinger. <laughs> that'll be the, uh, well, it's five team fouls now. So Lady Toppers will stroll down to the other end to shoot two. She just couldn't resist, had that size advantage and hunger. Uh, couldn't, couldn't resist going for the ball. That'll be Brewer now making her, uh, I believe that's her first trip to the free throw line. And she's got four threes, all of them coming in the first half. She was four out of six. And the first shot is up and good. Brewer has already taken 17 free throws in three games now. She was 12 of 16 coming into this game. This is her first attempt, or was her first attempt of the night, the last shot, and her second shot coming up and hits it. Good free throw shooter. And it's 99 to 59, an even 40 point advantage. Porter knocks it out of bounds out of the hands of Sanders. Iowa still retains possession of it. 3.14 to go. Have no starters in the game. WKU trying to trap, and Whitney Creech comes up with a steal. Lead pass to D. Givens has it blocked, and boy, nice job by Taiwo, not only blocking it, but coming up with a loose ball. Looking for help now. Way out up top. Cook has it slapped away by Gibbons. Gibbons one on two. Will take it to the basket and go to the free throw line. Gibbons probably a little frustrated tonight. It hasn't been her best night. She's had she's hit three threes, but only one field goal otherwise. And usually you look for her to drive to the basket. And as you mentioned earlier during the break, uh, no fast break points for the Lady Toppers. Well, they've done an outstanding job of getting back. And when you score as much as they have, uh, you know, it, it's tough to get the break going. They haven't turned it over. Uh, you know, 33 assists, seven turnovers for Iowa. That um, ratio is pretty good. <laughs> it's an unbelievable uh, stat sheet. All the starters except Givens out. Givens, second free throw coming her way. And she gets it. And, and now she will get a rest as Abdugawat, another starter, back in for Iowa. All the starters on the bench getting a, a well-deserved rest. Iowa brings it across half court, leading it 99-61. This is about their third trip to try to break that century mark. 
and might be able to at the free throw line. That'll be the fifth team foul on WKU as it's whistled against number three, Sidney Bopp. Not a lot of points off the bench for the Lady Toppers tonight outside of Sherry Porter. Niang has two, and that's about it. Free throw good that time. Bollinger, second one coming her way. Iowa at the 100 mark, and now they're at 101. Bollinger with six points. 101 to 61, just under two and a half minutes to go. Three-pointer out front taken by WKU's Terry Smith. Off the rim, and Iowa with the rebound. Iowa not allowing WKU very many second chances, only getting that one shot in, and then Iowa clearing the boards. Dribbling through a crowd, and uh, expected a whistle, and there's the whistle. And my, my guess is that Sanders is saying, where was that whistle when I was trying to get through everything? <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot of contact there. They were trying to let that clock run out. I think the officials have... Yeah. Uh, think they've seen enough? Yeah, I think they they have an hour, I told you, an hour and 40 minute time limit, and they're a little bit over now, about three minutes. Free throw is missed by Smith. Smith, the freshman out of Harvest, Alabama. And... Uh, Lane violation, so the one she makes will get wiped off. Iowa back with a basketball under two minutes to go, 101-61. Iowa has never trailed in this game, and their lead is 40 right now. I think their largest lead was 44, and that was earlier in the fourth quarter at 550. <laughs> Got to block the foul there. Nice try, though, on the charge. WKU actually did have a lead by one point at the 8.58 mark. I think that was at three to two. Sanders is going to be a good player, Zion Sanders, a freshman. Good looking, good looking player. Uh, has three threes tonight. Abdegawa has four points now. Make it five, a three pointer, and a couple of free throws. And Iowa back with the basketball, leading at 101 63. Two teams met last year in I at Iowa. I think they, before that, the last time they had met was back when you were coaching. Yep, it's been a while before the year 2000. And guess what, another three-pointer. Boy, they just don't miss many. Olinger had Olinger had with that three. 104 to 63. Iowa will go to 2 and 0 on the year. They were 24 and 8 last year. As we said, returned nine letter winners. Nice drive that time by Abagawa. They've had 11 consecutive postseason appearances. Lisa Butler going for her 12th. Coach 20 Blu win season. I, mean, I, I said Butler, Bluter. Bluter. Yeah, Coach Bluter is, uh, she, she does an outstanding job, she and her staff, teaching the game. Off her foot. Out of bounds. It'll belong to WKU for the final 28 seconds of this basketball game. Well, back to the drawing board for the Hilltoppers, for the Lady Toppers. And uh, as we said, it doesn't get any easier. It's been a very difficult schedule to open the season. But somewhere down the road, they'll look back and say, hey, those things made them a better team. You certainly hope so. Driving. Niang gets the two. Her fourth point. And Iowa, if they'd like to, can just dribble it out. And that's exactly what they'll do. 104 to 67. Your final here from EA Diddle Arena. Lady Top.